Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor here today at Gray Manor to talk to you about a particular subject that I got to thinking about yesterday. Why do pipes tend to give tongue bite and cigars just don't? I mean, they're both tobacco, so what's the deal? Now, before I started smoking a piper regularly, and this would have been about eight years ago, around 2013, I had smoked cigars previously for about 20 years. And I never had the issue of tongue bite with a cigar. Never did. Now, I had an occasional cigar that was overly spicy. Typically, that would be Honduran cigars for me. But I wouldn't say that they burned hot or gave me tongue bite. So why is that? Um, I just kind of always took it for granted. Now I had tried to smoke a pipe several times during those 20 years of cigar smoking. Because I always wanted to smoke a pipe more. I just liked the idea of pipes more than cigars. But by necessity... I smoke cigars primarily because pipes always gave me the issue of tongue bite. That was until I found charcoal filters, which this volcano cob here, which I have on the website, this is the newest Missouri Meerschaum cob. As of this video, at least. I have a Savinelli charcoal filter, six millimeter filter in, in here. No longer an issue. Tongue bite is no longer an issue for me with charcoal filters. But it still begs the question, why don't cigars give tongue bite? Well, I've got a few things. I looked it up yesterday because I just always kind of took it for granted. Cigars don't bite me, pipes do, until I found filters. Well, I looked up a few forum posts and, and various articles here and there. I don't have anything definitive to talk about uh, as regards to this is the answer, but here are some items of note. So, cigars... Uh, your typical cigar is about the length of this pipe. So it's about five to six inches, a typical cigar length. Whereas your pipe tobacco is only about one and a half, maybe two inches if you have a longer pipe. And the pipe tobacco does filter itself, particularly on a cigar which is longer. So that kind of makes sense to me that a cigar would not give tongue bite, at least at the beginning of the smoke. But I've smoked cigars down to the nub and have never had issue with tongue bite. So that can't be the, the whole reason. Now another thing is the way cigars are made, particularly premium cigars, you have long filler, which is whole leaf that's flattened and then rolled. So you've got long stretches of cigar leaf laid end over end like pieces of paper and then rolled up. So as you're smoking, 
there's so much more surface material, I would think, that the smoke passes over and through to get to your mouth. So I would think that would have something to do with it too, but I don't think that's 100% it either. Some people mentioned online that they have had issues with tongue bite with cigars if they're smoked down all the way to the nub or if they're smaller ring gauge cigars, you know, the really small, thin cigars, like the size of this stem. Particularly if you smoke them, you know, if you hot box a cigar, if your smoking cadence is, is just too fast. I may have had that issue with smaller cigars here and there, like a three to four inch cigar that's got a really small ring gauge, and I smoke it too fast. If all three of those factors are in place, maybe I've been nipped at a little bit here and there by a small cigar, but that would just tell me to slow down. Cigars tend to stay lit better than pipes. So I would just chill out for a bit, not take any puffs, and then come back to it, and it would still be lit, typically. With a pipe, typically your pipe goes out. If you do that, Some other folks mentioned that um, it has to do with the types of leaves used between cigars and pipes. Now here's where I show my ignorance because I honestly don't know what types of leaves are used in the making of cigars. So maybe somebody more in the know in the cigar realm could add comments uh, to this conversation down in the comments uh, field. I do know Pipe tobacco is primarily either Virginia-based or Burley-based. You don't find Virginia tobaccos, I don't believe, in very many cigars at all. But pipe tobacco is either Virginia-based or Burley-based for the most part. And then you have continental tobaccos like Orientals, Latakia, Parique, Dark-Fired Kentucky. But it's primarily Virginias and Burleys. Well, with cigars, I know there's, you know, Connecticut Shade Wrapper, there's filler from various places like, you know, Cuba, which we can't get, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Brazil, Sumatra, Indonesia. Nicaragua, Honduras, places like that, but I don't know what type of leaf that is. So you guys let me know down in the comments, but that could be a factor as well, just the type of tobacco versus the type of tobacco used in pipes. So Another factor would be the bowl of the pipe itself. So the bowl traps heat 
this you know unfinished cob traps less heat than say a finished briar pipe but it still does trap uh, a certain amount of heat uh, so that could add to it even though another thing is even though cigars are more finicky with humidity I would say you have to try to keep your cigars at a fairly constant 72 isn't it 72 percent humidity and 72 degrees thereabouts that doesn't mean the the humidity content of the actual cigars are higher than pipe tobacco. I would wager to guess that most pipe tobacco when it comes out of the tin is still a higher moisture content than your typical cigar. So moisture content plays a factor in how much uh, vapor is in the smoke that definitely plays a, a part in tongue bite uh, for pipes versus cigars but like I said I don't have any hard and fast answers here just a question I would pose to the pipe community I know many of you um, that are interested in pipes also smoke cigars to various extents. Maybe you smoke mostly pipes, but you're also very in the know with cigars and enjoy a cigar here and there. Some of you are about half and half. Some of you are primarily cigar smokers and very knowledgeable about cigars and cigar tobaccos, but just to enjoy the occasional pipe. So, I think this is an interesting question to pose to the community. You guys do me a favor and if you have knowledge to impart, fill up that comment uh, section. I think this will be a really interesting um, topic for conversation in the comments. And maybe if I find out anything uh, from you guys, uh, more definitive than what I've researched myself so far, uh, I can do a follow-up video. But, as always, I can't stress enough how uh, charcoal filters, both 6 and 9 millimeter versions, have completely changed pipe smoking for me and made it more enjoyable. Allow me to enjoy more pipes. I mean drastically more than I could without filters. So if tongue bite is an issue for you guys, please, please try a filtered pipe. Don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it wrong if you smoke with filters. It's just not true. It's just another way to smoke. I find that it focuses the taste of the blend for me. It does mitigate nicotine content a, a, a bit which I find helpful. But yeah. Just an interesting topic. You guys let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if there's something I didn't touch on. And we'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me. And we'll chat with you later.